time world cup against england quarterfinals to pull off something like that is insane yo he's him he's him this is why i've recently put maradona a lot higher in my all-time ranking he's on the s tier and my s tier is the goat tier and it's shared by both maradona and lionel messi okay how good was diego maradona without wasting any more time guys let's get straight into it when Diego Maradona passed away, there was an outpouring of grief around the football world. There was. Pele, Lionel Messi, yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, and countless others sent in their tributes. That shows how important to figure El Diego was. As a footballer, he was one of the best to ever do it. But just how good was Diego Maradona actually? And this is something that you guys keep discussing in the comments. For some reason, all of my Diego Maradona videos do very well in terms of engagement there are a lot of comments i've had people from different age groups saying that he's the best of all time again lionel messi in my opinion takes that crown but diego maradona is definitely still in that same tier but without wasting sorry no but as i said let's just carry on the video and and, and we'll see what they get what they have to say If you looked at Maradona, you might not think he was a footballer. He was short and stocky, and he didn't always look like the most natural athlete. But with Good a point. ball at his feet, he was a genius. Maradona was nicknamed El Pibe de Oro, the golden boy in Argentina. He inspired his country to World Cup glory in 1986, then led him to Buenos Aires in 1990. A club level who played for Argentinos Juniors, Boca Juniors, Barcelona, Sevilla, and Newell's old boys, yeah. but he's most famous for his time at Napoli. The club from the south of Italy had never won Serie A before Diego arrived in 1984. By the time he left in 1991, Napoli had won two league titles and the UEFA Cup, one of Maradona's biggest... Yeah. Wait, wait. Playing ability-wise, we've made like three videos on Maradona already, where we analysed Maradona's game, and I think we did a good job um at that but something those videos often tend to dismiss is something that i really count which is impact on winning and as we've seen here especially at napoli what maradona was able to do the impact this man had on winning especially because after he left the state that napoli was in you look at Mar look at you look at napoli before and after Maradona, and definitely their golden ages, their golden years was with Diego. A team that had never won in the Serie A to win two Serie A's and to win a European trophy. When it comes to impact on winning, this is the one of the, and of course, the World Cup of Argentina. <laughs> Let's not forget that. When it comes to impact on winning, this is one of the most impactful, one of the most clutch footballers we have ever seen titles and the UEFA Cup. One of Maradona's biggest strengths was his ability to inspire his teammates and drag his sides to glory. In the Messi versus Maradona debate, yeah. this is an area where Diego edges it. Napoli weren't quite a one-man team, but without Maradona, they wouldn't have reached the heights they did. His Good point. Good point. And another side of impact on winning is the supporting cast that you have. And, you know, I still think Messi is the best footballer of all time. But something we cannot de de deny about Lionel Messi is that he was playing, especially at Barcelona, he was playing with Xavi. He was playing with Iniesta, he was playing with Neymar, he was playing with Suarez, David Villa, Victor Valdez, Pique, Puyol, Rakitic. And you can just keep, keep on going and going. Messi was playing with some of the best footballers we have ever seen of all time. Whereas Diego is coming into a team, and sorry, that Barcelona team, before Messi, when, when, a young Messi coming into the team, this was a team that was already winning La Ligas, that was already winning the Champions League. Again, nothing to take away from Messi, but he was coming to an environment that was already succeeding. So his impact on winning, although it was great, compared to Maradona's, it's like different tiers, different tiers performances at the 1986 World Cup were there incredible. No there one before go. or since dominated the tournament like he did. Maradona scored five goals and made five assists as Argentina won the trophy. 
No player in World Cup history has ever had a hand in that many goals. His second goal against England in yeah. the quarterfinals is one of the best goals that's ever been scored. It also showed many of his best qualities. In now, the highest level of competition at the time, World Cup against England, quarterfinals, to pull off something like that is insane. Yo, here's him. Here's him. This is why I've recently put Maradona a lot higher in my all-time ranking. He's on the S tier, and my S tier is the GOAT tier, and it's shared by both Maradona and Lionel Messi. Maradona was an unbelievable dribbler. At times, it seemed like the ball was glued to his left foot. You have to remember that back in Maradona's day, the pitches were often awful. You had to have oh, amazing... I hate this argument. I hate this argument. Good point, good point, but I guess the pitches were awful then. Using <sighs> ball control to do what he did. He was also very intelligent. His decision to take the ball around Peter Shilton, the England keeper, proved that. Some players would have rushed a shot, not Maradona. He was brave too. Back then, attackers had much less protection from referees. Oh Some my days, let's not do this again. Oh, these, oh, these arguments actually annoy me. Okay, I mean, again, good point, I guess, but... Fouls wouldn't even get you a yellow card. Okay. Today, they'd get you a prison sentence. Sure. Maradona Funny. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I guess, bro. Talk about the game. Jeez. Even though we knew he might get sure her pieces, arguments. We shouldn't forget Maradona's passing ability either. He was an expert at playing accurate through balls. See, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. The fact that Maradona was able to score was able to score goals at pretty much at will at times. The fact that he was arguably the best dribbler of all time. And his passing ability, which goes extremely underrated and something we highlighted in our Maradona video, of course. Sometimes he combined his dribbling and passing in the same move. Just look at this assist for Claudio Canigia against Brazil. Yeah, that, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Too. Maradona might just be the most naturally gifted footballer to ever play the game. Great his point. His level of talent was off the charts. That doesn't necessarily make him the GOAT, though. He's definitely in the conversation, but a couple of things. That's and now he's cooking. That's my point as well. It's like I'll, I'll let him speak first, then I'll speak just to make it easy. him in that debate. First, he wasn't quite as consistent as players like Pele, Lionel Messi, or Cristiano Ronaldo. Stop! 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 Let's make one thing clear. When it comes to the greatest footballers of all time debates, I have Diego Maradona. One million steps ahead of Pele. When you're comparing Pele to Maradona, it's like you're comparing two footballers who are playing at different levels. Again, relative to error, I've said this a hundred times, relative to error, Pele, the best player of his era. But talking about all time, this is why Maradona ranks so high on my list, especially because of the era that he played in. When talking about all time, Maradona and Pele should not be mentioned in the same conversation. This annoys me so much. It annoys me so much because you can if you actually watch football, if you actually watch these two guys play, as we've done in this channel, look at how many reactions we've made on different footballers. We actually analyze games on this channel. Maradona is ahead of Pele in so many ways. Let's not do this, please. Please. Ronaldo and Messi, we can have a debate. But compared to Pele, no, Maradona is better. Although his career at the highest level was basically over by the time he was 30. He did play at the 1994 World Cup when he was 33, but he was thrown out of the tournament after failing a drugs test. Maradona scored 38 <laughs> goals in 58 games for Barcelona. That's a pretty good record. 
but he never really settled at the Camp Nou. Even at Napoli, there were times when his form dipped. Off-field problems didn't help. Yeah. He was addicted to cocaine and put on weight easily. He also got caught up with the Camorra, the Naples Mafia. At his peak, Maradona probably reached a higher level than any other footballer in history. But he wasn't as relentlessly consistent as other GOAT contenders. Numbers don't tell you everything in football. In the 1980s, Serie A was full of world-class defenders. It was harder for strikers to score goals in Italy back then than it is in La Liga today or in the Brazilian league when Pele Good point. was playing. Yet Maradona's goal scoring figures are much less impressive than the players he usually gets compared to in his career for clubs and But then but then here's my other thing when it comes to these debates. Because I said this especially on my messy video, it gets to a point where these debates are no longer about who's the best footballer or who's the better footballer and they become who who was the better goal scorer? If you're talking about who's the better goal scorer, then yeah, sure, I'll have Ronaldo over Maradona all day, every day. I'll have Ronaldo had the most footballers. When, when you're talking about who's the better footballer, and you look at the things that are going to being an amazing footballer, especially offensively, of course, you're not going to compare Manuel Neuer to Maradona because they just, they just play different roles. But when you're talking about offensively and what this man can do offensively compared to other offensive players, Maradona's still ST. Again, as, as we saw, goal scoring, um, his ability to score goals, amazing, especially at his prime and in you know, his good years because he, of course, had off-the-field problems. Talking about his dribbling ability, his passing ability, we're, talk we're talking about some of the best things we have ever seen. So this conversation of, oh, this guy scored more goals. Okay, so the conversation should be who's a better goal scorer and not who's a better player because if it says about who's a better player, Maradona... Man, man, this guy is something else. That's all I'm gonna say. Something else. Entry: Maradona scored 346 goals. Messi and Ronaldo have already scored more than 700. Pelic they played more games. That's a bad point. M Ronaldo and Messi played more game, more games. Again, if you took even the ratio, I think Ronaldo and Messi have a better ratio than Maradona. But then they played more games anyways and this that in the debate is not who's a better goal scorer is who's a better footballer being a better goal scorer goes into it but then you need to also add in all the other factors like passing and dribbling and etc officially scored 757 and hundreds more in friendlies Maradona against who against who was more of an attacking midfielder than a striker but Messi, Ronaldo so? and Pelé weren't always used up front either their numbers are much better than Diego's the when have Ronaldo, Messi and Ron when have, when have Pelé, Messi and Ronaldo not played up front even if you're a winger you still play up front technically most iconic Anyways. footballer ever? Maradona is one of the best footballers of all time, but he's not number one. Messi, Pele and Ronaldo deserve to be above him in the ranking no, because they no. also had incredible natural talent, but were more consistent over a longer period. Yeah, okay, Messi and Ronaldo have never won the World Cup, but Maradona barely played in the European Cup, never mind winning it. Messi's won it four times, and Ronaldo's won it five times. Pele's critics will say... These are really just like useless points. Points they make anyway. Yeah, no, it's disappointing. Ah, oh, such a good video, but when it comes to me, when it comes to the way I like to debate football, these points are kind of useless because you're, now you're comparing team accomplishments. You're comparing the Champions League to the World Cup and etc. These are team accomplishments. I'm talking about individual players. To me, this is useless. He never did it in Europe, but football was different back then. The South American game was much stronger than it is today. Pele won three World Cups and starred against European clubs in high-profile friendlies. Maradona Cap. is out in front in another debate, though. He's easily the most iconic footballer of all time. Diego had his flaws, even he admitted that, but that actually made him more compelling and <laughs> more relatable. No footballer has ever been idolized as much as Maradona. There are churches named after him. He's a godlike figure in Argentina and in Naples. Argentines have always loved him more than Messi. Whether it was a spellbinding dribble, a glorious goal, or even an avoidable scandal, <laughs> there was always something going on in Maradona's world. It was impossible to take your eyes off him, both on the field and off it. He's not quite the best player of all time, but one thing's for sure, there will never be another Diego Armando Maradona. Again, good points, bad points made in this video. 
is life. You, you agree on some things, you disagree on other things. But when it comes to me, especially, again, I'll be making a tier list video soon on the best footballers of all time so I can explain it to you guys a bit better. But I have Messi and Maradona in the same team because we're talking about football players and their playing ability individually. Those two are the best to ever, to ever touch touch the, or enter a football pitch. Those two are just something else. Completely and utterly something else. The other stuff like Champions Leagues and who score more goals, that's, those are different arguments. Playing ability, all time, individually, Maradona is in that conversation. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments where you guys make of Maradona. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys soon.